Hello and thanks for watching. This video focuses on importing data into the new QuickBooks Online. There are plenty of videos out there on converting from desktop. This type of importing, I'm just talking about if you were to start the QBO file for your client or maybe you're just a client yourself or a small business user and you signed up for QuickBooks Online, how do you start it from scratch and bring in say your customers? Okay, so if I show you the customers you should be able to do vendors and items and chart of accounts as well. You click on the company file name that you'll have in the upper right of your QuickBooks Online file and right under tools import data. Again you can export some data you can import from QuickBooks desktop but we're starting the file I'm just going to bring in some lists from Excel if you will. So you go ahead and click on import data. What data do you want to import into QuickBooks Online? So customers, vendors, chart of accounts, bank transactions, products and services. I'm, which is essentially your items list. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just choose basic example of customers. Go ahead and click on that. And it actually gives you a sample file, uh, which I've downloaded. That's what I'm going to go ahead and import. But if you wanted to do a test or something like that, or at least you could use it as a template and just paste in your customer data into the appropriate columns. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the file. It's Excel or CSV. Go to the folder where you saved it. Go ahead and grab it. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. So it uploads the file. Right? You still have to do some mapping. And I have full name to name, company to company, email, email, etc. Right? And here's you know, where you can choose. Here are the QuickBooks Online fields. Here are the fields on the spreadsheet. Make sure they're correct. In my case, they all are because it's a sample company. But in your case, maybe the you have the name in the company name section. So keep track of that. But you're going to go ahead and map the fields from the QBO fields for the customer or the vendor record or the product and service record, chart account, etc and the fields that are in the spreadsheet. Go ahead and click continue. And then it gives me the actual spreadsheet or the 10 customers that were uh, uploaded to QBO. They haven't been imported at this time. But you can go through and, and just look at them all. This brings up a good point. The one I unchecked, that is just in the actual spreadsheet. So look for just kind of lines in your Excel spreadsheet or CSV file that just don't really have anything to do with names and just uncheck them. Only bring in the actual list elements that you want to bring in. In this case, it's customers. I'm going to go ahead and click to import the nine records now. Let's say nine records will be imported exactly. Again, fail safe, last pop-up. Sure you want to do it? Yep. Click OK. Import in progress. And then you should see an import summary. Congratulations. Okay. And I can click on see all my customers to bring me to that customer list. Let's go look at that now. And there they are, customer center. So that's how easy it is to import data into QuickBooks Online. Again, the gear icon or the company file name in the upper right tools import data remember you can import not just customers but vendors chart of accounts bank transactions and your items or as we call it in qbo products and services hope that was helpful have a great day